Hello, my name is Melissa Ting, and today we're going to be talking about four things to do about haters. Now, whatever you're doing, okay, whether you're a student, you're a teacher, if you're an organizer, if you're an MC, whatever you're doing, you will have haters, right? So when you do have haters, here's what we can do about them. This, yeah, this is a hater, man. How dare you? All right, let's try again. Awesome, okay, number one, if you have haters, I think you should throw a party. I'm not even kidding. I think you should celebrate because the fact that you have haters, it means you're doing something about yourself. It means that you're fighting for something that is worth somebody talking about it, and you're talking about something that has an opinion, and so people are just like, you know what, I need to hate on it. It's like important enough for people to hate on it. You know what I mean? So uh, just for me, I was putting myself out there a lot when I joined Asia's Next Top Model. Uh, I don't know if you realize, but the other models are like six footers, and I'm like small footers, and they're all very skinny, size zero, they work for foreign models, and I, I didn't even book any job yet. So when I applied, I was really putting myself out there, and I was really just trying my best luck. So when I applied, uh, there were like 10 stages every time you get called back. So the last stage, they flew us to Singapore, and this was the first time I got called the meanest, nicest thing in the world. So I met one of the judges, and then you guess what he said? I'm not exaggerating this, okay? So he looks at me, and he's just like, I love how confident you are, despite how you look. Oh, no, he didn't. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Despite how I look? What is that supposed to mean? He's like, oh, you know, because you're, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to brag, but I think I look decent. I don't think I'm like fat. I'm not skinny. I'm not size zero. And yes, I'm not size like six foot tall, but like, I, what, what do you mean despite how I look? Okay, so never mind. So that was like, that was very surprising for me to hear. Um, but at the same time, it's what comes with, you know, me putting myself out there, not in my comfort zone. Fine. I did it. I tried. Number two, when you have haters, Focus on your mission. I feel like when you're focused on what you're doing, you know what you're doing and why you're doing it, it really doesn't matter when people hate on you or it matters less. You know what I mean? So what helps me is that um, I focus on my mission. So let's say my mission is to help people. So I get some hate along the way. And along the way, I'm just like, oh my God, so mean, so mean. Now I'm like, wait, what is my mission? It's to help people. Then I check myself. Am I helping people? Yes. So when I'm doing that, then I'm like, you know what? You can say whatever you want to say because I'm doing my mission, right? So this is what happened now. Huh? So sometime back, here's me trying to help someone and how it just backfired back in my face. So every year when people try to apply for Asia's Next Top Model, I get tons and tons of mail coming in and asking me, what do I expect? What do I bring? What's the auditions like? Where is it? What's going on? Everything, right? So I always try to reply them with like long essays, you know? I try and tell them um, what's going on and I tell them in detail because I really want to help them. And it just goes back and forth and this happens every single year. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just going to make a video. So one time, kao team, everybody knows what to expect. So this is my vlog. So I made a vlog explaining to them what to expect during my interviews. And then, so I thought I was doing this, like, okay, let me just help people, right? And then guess what? People are like, oh my God, you're talking like you won. You didn't even win. I was like, what? If you ever watch this video, I disclaimed it from the beginning, okay? I already said, I was like, guys, I'm just telling you what happened during my interview. Every season might be different because different producers. So if we don't really know what's happening, it's just different, you know? Um, so I'm just telling you what to expect. I never said, guys, here's how to win. It's just next top model. No, I never said anything like that, okay? But they still had something to say about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got so disheartened. Because I felt like, you know, here I am, I'm not getting paid to do this. I normally get paid to do videos, but I, I wasn't paid to do this. I'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart, and you still slam me? How mean are you? Then after that, I was like, okay, you know what? Chill. Am I helping people? I think so, yeah. And then it turns out that when I posted it on Facebook and on Instagram, um, the producers and the ex-contestants from the show, they came and commented and they sent me messages. They're like, hey, Mel, so nice of you to do that. Lah. And then some of the ex-contestants said, I wish someone had told me all those details when I was applying. So coming from ex-contestants, then I know I'm like, okay, that was definitely helpful information. Lah. So as long as I know what I'm doing, then it doesn't really matter lah, if you want to hear on me. Okay. All right. Number three, respond with love. I think a lot of times when we see haters, 
uh, we just get very offended. We're like, oh my god, so mean. But then if you try to understand like where they're coming from, and if you try to understand that it's more about them than it is about you, if that makes any sense. Okay, so check this. Uh, I'm kind of dreading this, but I want to show you anyways. So this is what somebody said to me, and I just want to take a couple of seconds to read it up. Um, Sheena Liam, you are Asia top model, so don't close with Melissa, Melissa thing. She's so ugly and overseas model agency won't want to recruit her because she not talent to be a model. <laughs> don't know why Nadia Hutagalong choose her present for Malaysia in cycle one, feel disgusted and want to vomit that she in model industry. And Melissa Ting, please be environment friendly. <laughs> Stop saying that you are Asia's Next Top Model team. Only Sheena Liam deserved and I keep laughing when I look back. Asia's Next Top Model cycle one because all the girl keep laughing you behind your back and judge you that why you in the competition. Melissa Ting, you can be a kindergarten moral teacher, not a Asia top model. Keep saying from your mouth, feel shamed on you. So this is, I know, I know, aww. Okay, let's have a round of aww. One, two, three. Aww. <laughs> thank you, thank you for lining me. Yeah, so when I got that, I'm telling you, this is just one of the nicer ones. This is like already quite toned down. This is one of the things I actually took a screenshot of for some reason. Um, and there are, this person not only d like wrote this once, found many, many, many friends of mine, um, commented on their profile, found all the ex-contestants and wrote equally nasty things, even longer probably, uh, and also decided that it was worth the energy to create a fake profile, one, and decided that she kind of looks like Emma Watson. So also used her picture. I was like, okay. And you know what, the best part about this is that, do you know when this happened? Three and a half years after the show. <laughs> Come on, man. Three and a half years after the show, you still are so hung up about how fat or how ugly you think I am. You decided to create a profile and make so much energy, check out all my friends, find all the ex-contestants, and I'm just like, what? I just don't understand you. And I was really furious, to be honest. I was like, what? It's already been three and a half years. I've already made something for myself. I'm working really hard to prove that, you know, okay, I can't be a model. At least I can speak. I can try to be an MC. I can be a radio announcer. You know, I'm working so hard. It's so disheartening to see these kind of things. And then I realized, I was like, wait, what kind of person does this? If you think about it. So this is where you try to understand your haters. A person who spends so much time and energy and effort to talk about somebody else. It's a TV show that happened three and a half years ago. Come on, man. So probably it's a person who is a little bit empty lah. No offense if you're watching this. But it's... Why, why would you have time? I have so many things to do. I don't even have time to like sit down like you have time to do this. So probably if you try to understand your haters, you probably understand that this person is probably, you know, empty on the inside. So instead, I sat down and I actually prayed for this person. I was so pissed at first. I said a short prayer lah because I was still quite upset lah, okay? I'm just going to be honest. But yeah. And last but not least, Oh, I promise I never say that. But yes, don't be a hater yourself, okay? We know how hurtful like haters can be, right? We, we've gotten some form of hate. Even if you don't get a long ass comment with many, many people's uh, profiles, you still get some sort of hate. So you know how not nice it is. So make sure that you're not a hater yourself. Some time back, um, before I joined the show, I was quite bad, okay? I used to watch America's Next Top Model. And you know the nasty things I used to say? I used to watch and judge. I was like, oh, there are two girls. This one should be out. You know why? Because she is, she very nice, but she's not a model. She very short, she very, she very fat. She don't look like a model. And then, and then fast forward a couple of years, guess what? Karma slapped me in the face. Karma decided that I would be one of the contestants on Asia's Next Top Model. And guess what everybody is saying about me? <laughs> the exact same thing that I used to say about other people. And I'm like, Ugh, yeah, maybe I kind of deserve that a little bit, lah, okay? So people are literally like, now they're coming up to me and saying like, you know, oh, you're, you're very nice, very nice girl, very good girl, but you're very fat, but you're very ugly. So, you know, Malaysia got no prettier girls, is it? I'm like, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I kind of put that on myself. But yeah, so after that, I mean, I went through this hardship and now I understand that I have to be a lot kinder with my words itself, you know what I mean? So I hope that you don't have to join a TV show and then find out the hard way. So just try not to be a hater. Try to spread more love than we do hate, you know what I mean? And just... If you want to take out anything out of this, I honestly hope that 
at the end of this, you, not even at the end of this, I hope that you have haters. I really do. But I hope that you have haters because you're fighting for a cause. You're fighting for something that you believe in and something that was going to help a lot of people. And I honestly also hope that uh, when you do get these haters, I hope that the few points that I share with you, it will help you deal with the haters. Thank you very much. My name is Melissa. Thank you.